Good morning, magandang umaga, and welcome to today's episode of My PI Dream. Today is Saturday, and it is build day, mm, I think it's 274. It's build day 274 on the construction schedule here at Villa Feliz. Uh, this morning we still have a light crew. I don't think uh, all the men made it back from uh, B call yet. Maybe still from the problem with the, uh, the, the weather situation that they had down there a few days ago. So anyway, we have, I think, one or two more than we had yesterday, plus the precast guys are here this morning. So this morning, the, the main agenda for the team that are working now is back to work on the soffit. They're getting that taken care of. Remember, we have a two-man team that does that. That's your specialty. That's part of our carpenter team. Uh, we also have our finishing team, and we have our mm, precast guys that are out there, and they're working on the fencing. Uh, the caps that are going to be going on there. We're actually working in the front on that side over there this morning. So that's where we are today. And uh, to tr help expedite, I'm going to do some of the simple tasks that uh, try to get these things out of the way so they don't have to worry about put, uh, do, expending any man hours on those. And simple things like installing uh, floor uh, bumpers <laughs> for the doors so that we don't keep hitting the the uh the walls and things like that with our doors so i can take care of that it's a very simple job it's just a simple drill in a couple of uh screws and then those are in place so i'm gonna work on that this morning so let's go ahead and get today started so without further delay let's get today's video underway <laughs> I've been walking around, I've been looking at some of the precast, this portion of the precast that's on the house, and I've been wondering, I, I keep seeing these uh, cut, cutouts right here, things like this right here, and they're all the way around. You can see all the way around on here. Uh, of course, this is a, a splice right here, but I've been seeing it all around, and I'm like, what, what's going on here? Uh, I, what they're doing is, if they see any type of crack in the precast, what they're going to do is they're going to cut out around the crack and they're going to refill it in. So that's what they did. They saw, well, this right here, it's not a crack. This is actually the splice. And they're going to refill this in and do a refinish so that we don't have a crack later on. So something like you see, like, uh, I don't know if this, yeah, this is a crack right here. So what they'll do here, uh, and this falls from the top, they will come inside and they will follow this crack line right here. They will make it deeper and they, they will do a repair. Uh, I, this is all new to me. I'm not a precast kind of guy, so I'm learning this. So I guess this is SOP for uh, finishing on uh, precast. So yes, finally we are getting to the finishing of the cabinetry work. We haven't done <laughs> we haven't done cabinetry work in such a long time. So I'm glad to see this is back in operation again. So he's doing the stain over the pink stuff, and eventually it's going to bring the color of these. To the color of the doors which are over here.
So right now what we're doing, we are, we're going to cut the holes, the permanent solution for the CCTV camera that's going to be connected here. Uh, you have to be careful when you're doing the disconnect of this portion of the cable, because uh, if you pull it, you can actually break the connection inside there. There's a, there's a, there's a method to pulling this off. There is an Ethernet connection. A, uh, this is where your RJ45 connector connects inside there, but you got to take two back shells off. You got to take one back shell off, push it through, push the black cable through, and then uh, then we'll, it will give you the ability to unsnap your RJ45 here. Uh, a lot of times what will happen is people will just start tugging on one end and it will break the connection on the RJ45. Also, when you, when you reinstall it, when you reinstall it, so we're gonna do a permanent installation. So this piece in the center, what we're going to do right here, this part right here, directly above it, we're gonna make a hole big enough to feed Oh, it's kind of hard to show you here by myself. Uh, feed this entire cable assembly through, but also easy enough that if you have to pull it back out to do maintenance or change out your cameras, you don't have to go inside the soffit area. So uh, that's what we're doing right now. We're making holes. And then what we have to do, we have to do a new realignment of this because it's kind of odd the way, this is, the way this is set up inside here. You can do a up and down and you can do a rotation adjustment, but you can't do a left and right. So when you do your placement of this particular brand of camera, you have to you have to make sure that the holes that you drill for these mounting screws in the top is exactly right. And it was actually off just a little bit uh, because I wanted to get more of a street view. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to make the correction while we're doing this now. So what I, what I asked is, since we cut the hole for the cable to go through there, I asked that we get a file and, and uh, rough enough so we don't have any sharp edges that can cut through the, the, uh, the audio or, or the... Uh, So after we drilled and we got the hole inside the tin work, I asked that we get a file inside there, just kind of clean up the edges in there, so we don't have any sharp edges that can cut through the uh, the data connection from the CCTV ca uh, uh, camera. No. Hey. Yeah. So what I asked them to get a file is uh, we'll use a round file to um, roughen up and smooth around the area where we just cut the hole for the cables because we don't want, when we're pulling the cable through for any maintenance or anything like that, we don't want to damage any of the, the uh, CCTV uh, camera cable inside there. Best thing to do, if you can find a grommet, uh, but we don't, <laughs> we don't have any grommets around here, a rubber grommet. So I'm still concerned about the the vents, the the size of, uh, it, possibly a small, a very small, like a very small spout or something to possibly get inside there. So what I'm going to do, remember we have this screening material that we use for the secret gutter system to keep the leaves from getting inside and clogging up the secret gutter. So what I did was I cut a piece out. You see inside of here, I cut a piece out, and that's on the uh, inside. And it will be on this side right here. So what I need to do is I need to get some small uh, sheet metal screws or metal screws to go inside here, very short ones so they don't penetrate through to the other side. So we can attach it in about six places, two, four, six spots on here. And then we'll use this. We just got to figure out how to get to, we can do the rest of them that way. We got to figure out how to get up inside of here and get that before it's closed up. So uh, let me run down to the hardware store. Well, anyway, I'm down here at City Hardware. I went to McKilling earlier and uh, we're looking for the real small screws and uh, small washers, and uh, they didn't have what I needed. Then I came down here to City Hardware because I thought City Hardware usually has uh, some of the smaller hardware items. I thought they might have that here, uh, which is basically screws. Uh, I found a bag of these screws. These might do as long as I have some kind of washer that I could put behind it, but they don't have the washers here. It's, it stays like this. Uh, I miss Lowe's and Home Depot back in the U.S. because they always have exactly what I need. Uh, their selection is so good. And I think even um, 
Wilcon. I think Wilcon would have had what I needed, but I didn't have enough foresight when we were there the last time to pick up these because I didn't I didn't think about this right here. Um, I, if we use washers on here or we have some kind of backing, maybe we can make something. We could do some shim with some kind of wood or something like that back at uh, uh, Villa Feliz. Maybe we'll be able to make it work. So I'm going to get one small bag of this. I have to stop by the mall anyway. I'm going to run up in the Ace Hardware. They are my last uh, ditch effort today without having to drive all the way down to Batanga City to go to the Wilcon. And I didn't want to do that right right now because we have a lot of things that are going on. Uh, we might be able to think out of the box and use maybe some kind of a metal strip or something like that uh, for the back end for this to hold those pieces of, of uh, screening inside the, the soffit vents. So uh, continuing to look and uh, maybe we can be uh, uh, inventive and come up with something else. So I have a great idea. Uh, I, I don't have the washers for this, but I'm over in this area right here that has the, the tile spacers. Remember I always talk about think outside of the box. So we can take a tile spacer that we have. These little tile spacers that they use here, uh, we're not going to use it as a tile spacer. But we can cut off one corner out of each one of these. You'll see, you see these right here. And we can use this each little block inside here because there's a little hole in it and it'll work perfectly to hold down the screen so like i said sometimes you have to think outside the box when you can't find the materials that you need uh you just follow, find an alternate uh, uh uh source of material and we're going to do that so we're going to i'm going to grab a, a box it's only about a buck uh one us dollar 63.50 pesos and we'll use that and i know that will work quite well that'll work Something that's kind of interesting that I want to show you is the pre-gas guys here are doing, remember they're doing the trim work, the detail work on the top of each one of the fence uh, posts out here. And again, they'll fill those in around the edges so it'll all look like one piece. But not only do they do it on the fence posts, this corner fence post that we have here, uh, it's a utility post. But they're going to use the same detail feature that's going to go along the base. Of course, it won't have the full pyramid because we have the, the post. So I'm kind of curious to see how that looks out. But that's that's how far they go into detail to make sure everything matches all the way around the house. Oh, and by the way, I stopped by the, uh, the steel workshop today. And I was expecting that one corner post that was uh, supposed to be fabricated for the prototype so that we could test the corner. Remember the one we did yesterday worked perfect. And uh, we're not going to have any issues with that. We had all the spacing for all the bolts and everything worked perfect. And I was supposed to get the uh, the one today, and I did. I stopped by, but not only did they have the one corner done, the, uh, the Otto he also made two more, so he knocked a couple more of the straight ones out, and uh, we'll be able to install these. But this is the corner, and he said he he's done with our template for the wood. So here's the one we were talking about that he did to specifications. And we're going to install this one today. I only have enough lag bolts for one. I have four more of the, uh, uh, the sleeve uh, bolts inside there, or expansion bolts, whatever you want to call them. So we will go ahead and install this one today, make sure it works good. And if this one works well, what that means is we will go into full production. We'll give him the number of all the ones that we need to have done, and we'll have him build those. And it, uh, he did four, uh, well, he did three right here between yesterday and today. So he'll keep us pretty busy. He said two weeks, but I think it will take uh, a lot less than two weeks. But uh, it doesn't matter because we can only do one section at a time. And our guys, unless we get our full crew here, they are not ready to install these anyway. Uh, but uh, the quicker we get these done, the better.
All right, well, this guy is installed. He is great. He's in there nice and firm, uh, and it works fine. So I was only able to do the two. I only had uh, four bags of the, of the um, sleeve bolts. So now I have, to, <laughs> I have to make another trip. We have to make another trip down to Wilcon. No, I couldn't find any sleeve bolts at any of the, the big box hardware stores in Lipa. Uh, it's crazy. It, there probably, there's probably some place down there that has it, but I know they have it down at Wilcon down in Batang City, and that's a 20, 25, 30 minute drive. So uh, this one's installed, this one's installed. These two I will install tomorrow, which will give us almost this whole rail, this whole rail inside, except for the one on the corner down there. So what I need to do today is I need to count. I need to go around and, and give an inventory uh, to the fine folks over at the steel workshop and uh, let them know how many <laughs> uh, rail support brackets that we need. So I'm gonna do that now, uh, pack everything up here and uh, do a count. Uh, so anyway, as you see here, it is 522. It is the end of the build day and uh, the the crew have been long done i'm actually working on aligning the security camera the cctv camera that is up on the corner of the area of the house where they were doing the soft events today uh, which is up over there so i'm just doing a quick alignment i i put the screws in and so everything looks good and it's nice because all the wires are now hidden inside the soffit itself so uh what did we get done today that's normally what we do we do a wrap up at the end of the day so what we got done today we got a lot of uh, finishing work got done on the outside again not not as much as i would hope because we only had a seven man crew plus we had the two uh the mm, precast guys today the two precast guys so we had a total total crew of nine today uh plus myself makes 10. so today some work got done around this area i, I it's kind of hard to tell uh, what, what got done because it, it, it all looks the same after a while, but they did do work here, and it, this is a patch-up type of a thing. Remember, I, I brought you down here this morning, I believe, and I was showing, I don't know if it was on the front of the house or, the, or out of the side of the house, and there were cracks. You saw all the cracks. Well, when they filled in the crack and they sanded everything down, so we're getting back to a non-crack zone type of a precast, and that's what they were, were working on a lot today. And down in the stairwell, you can see they were doing um, skim coat, skim coat corrections inside here. They painted, and what happens is when you put paint on, paint will reveal all the deficiencies and all the anomalies, abnormalities, uh, whatever you want to call it. And they, it will really show once you put your regular coat of paint on there. And that's what they do. Once they see that, then they go back and they patch it back up with uh, some more skim coat, do some more sanding, and get it to the best as possible. I will be so glad when we get this area done because this area hasn't been done in ages. Uh, so you, you see they were doing that today. Well, let's walk around to the front of the house and we'll see some of the finishing that got done there as well. But you see, this, this pole right here is installed, that pole. And I'm going tonight, I'm gonna pick up some bolts and uh, I will install these and I will get with probably, it won't be tomorrow because it's Sunday. I'm not gonna bother my steel workers family on Sunday. Uh, but probably Monday, because I'm sure he will have probably another four ready to go. I would love to get all of these done. Then we can actually start doing the railing for this back area. And then once we do the railing, then they can fill in all the railing down here with the pebble epoxy. And that, that's going to, and, and we'll be pretty much done at, at all, pretty much done, except for the fact that they'll have to be doing the grouting as well. Again, let's go ahead, let's go look at the front of the house and some of the finishing that got done. So anyway, walking up to the front, you can see all this area is being corrected here and i also asked my foreman today please pull out these two pieces of rebar right here because these two pieces of rebar they're mistake rebar they ran those rebars they ran those rebars back in the second month uh, when we had the concrete hollow block going up for the basement and they thought the retaining wall was going to go way up to there and obviously it does not go way up to there uh, let's look around the front uh, and it's looking pretty good because remember all the mud that was on the front of the house uh, from all the you know the rain hitting the ground here well they cleaned all of that up and now they're doing the patching and that color is going to be down here once all of this is uh, cleaned up sanded and we are back in the business so something I should probably do I would like we need something to go along the base some gravel or something to prevent uh, eventually we'll have grass and shrubs and that will be a, a flower bed that goes all the way around with shrubs and flowers inside they're mostly shrubs and a lot of that, whatever the mulch is that's inside there, will prevent a lot of the mud from slapping up against the side of the house. But the front of the house is actually starting to look pretty good. 
today they worked a lot here see the columns the columns got repainted again so they're clean they don't have all the fingerprints and handprints and grease marks and all uh, the precast it's almost finalized up there lots of stuff got done on the front of the house today so you see uh, once we get the soffit materials the, the soffit uh, panels and the soffit vents up there it's going to look almost finished in this portion right here now something that was done today uh, which was a small error and i contacted my builder and we're going to get corrected is the for the lighting the original the original lights in the original design drawing we had floodlights up at the top but we decided to go away from the floodlights and we're going to do pin lights inside the soffit which is going to wash the front of the house because we're going to have enough light out here between all the lantern lights and the lights that are going to be on the side of the garage and all the lights that are going to go around all around on the fencing we're going to have plenty of illumination for the yard we don't need floodlights i'm not a big fan of floodlights but what i am a fan of is uh wash wash lights which are the pin lights uh recessed lights whatever you want to call them that are going to go inside the soffit and it will wash the front uh, the only time i like floodlights i like floodlights from the bottom from the ground washing up on a house not from the top of the house washing down at the yard i'm, I'm not, not a big fan of that plus yeah it, 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 when you're in the yard it blinds you and things like that and we want we want everything to look aesthetically pleasing around here at villa Feliz. Also, some work got done in the master bedroom uh, with regard to the cabinets. You see, we're going, we're leaving pink, and we're starting to move more towards a, <laughs> a, wood, a wood type of a finish inside here. So they, we, we finally got started back on that again, and I'm very happy about that. Uh, once all that gets done and the, and the cabinets get their final coat of finish and that gets put on there, uh, we have the backsplash material. It is... I don't know, it is somewhere, it's somewhere inside. This is probably in the, uh, the closet over there, in the walk-in closet. Uh, so anyway, let's take a quick look out here at what got done. Remember yesterday we had this, the soffit vent done, the soffit panels up to halfway around this vent. It's completed around this vent right here. I just got done, as a matter of fact, I gotta bring my tools back inside. I just got done reinstalling the security camera up here. And uh, I got, I'm kinda in the way over here, I got all my, all this stuff here so anyway you can see where uh, we got to on this side of here working our way up uh, that little wire right there I don't know if you can see it that wire has to go uh, it's gonna have to be pulled back up because the the uh, pin light is going to go in between the soffit vents in the middle of the soffit panel inside there and it's going to be doing a down drop wash on, on the house so uh, my, my, I called my builder, we said, yeah, they'll take care of that. And uh, I think my electrician comes in on Monday. Remember, tomorrow is Sunday. Well, anyway, that is about it for today. Uh, tomorrow's gonna be another day. I don't know what kind of, I don't know who's showing up. It's a Sunday. I do not know uh, what my builder has for tomorrow. Uh, it might be a small crew. It might be no crew. He did not tell me. He, as in fact, he didn't show up today. But I did get a uh, phone call and a text message from him today. So again, tonight I'm running over to Batang City. I'm not going to take you with me down to Wilcon tonight because all I'm getting is some bolts. And uh, that's not very exciting. So I'm going to close for now. And uh, tomorrow's another day. Tomorrow's going to be build day. I believe that, oh, hold, let me look and see. I think we might have some shout outs. Hold on a second. <laughs> and oh my goodness, we have two shout outs. And I'm glad I, I thought about this at the last minute because it's for today. Because today is January 6th. It's Saturday, January 6th. And the first shout out today goes to the wife. Uh, the wife of Mick Adams, and his wife's name is Tess, Tess Adams, and she is turning 37 today. So anyway, I want to wish Tess a wonderful and happy birthday. And I have one more birthday shout out today. And the birthday shout out again is for January 6th. And it's Max Gawali's brother. And his brother's name, let's see if I can get this correct. I apologize if I butcher the name. Remember, I am the king of butchering names. But anyway, it's Melcher Maslian. I hope that's right, Maslian. Anyway, yeah, he, he, he was a math teacher here in the Philippines, and he now resides in Chicago, USA, with his family. So anyway, I want to wish a wonderful and uh, happy birthday to you, Melcher. Well, anyway, the sun just set, and it is over the horizon right now. And uh, so I'm going to close for today. And like I said, we're going to run down to Batanga City, to Wilcon, and pick up some hardware and be prepared for tomorrow. Uh, or Monday, depending on when the uh, crew actually comes. I'm actually going to be prepared tomorrow. I'm going to do things here around the house in the event that crew does not work. So anyway, until tomorrow, if you enjoyed today's video, please give me a thumbs up. 
uh, please share and if you have not subscribed uh, just click on that little my pi dream heart in the bottom right hand side of your screen you'll be subscribed and you'll be notified the next time i upload a new video so until tomorrow you have a wonderful and blessed day Thank you.